Hey guys, this is Haley from WonderNarvous.com and today I'm going to be showing you everything you need for clicker training and agility. So some of the things you see here are things that I have bought or things that I have made. So for everything I show you, I'm going to be telling you a way you can make it yourself so you don't have to buy it or a simpler way that you can make it that doesn't involve like um, power tools and stuff like that. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you is a clicker and honestly a clicker is one of the most important things when training your rabbit. Now you don't have to use a clicker. Um, I know like some rabbits are deaf. Um, Mocha isn't deaf but he doesn't hear a lot of things. I don't know if it's selective hearing or if he just doesn't hear very well. So I don't really need a clicker for him, but I think it really helps for um, rabbits like Lulu and Ebony who can hear. And so I highly recommend buying one of these things. And even if you don't have a ton of money, they're super cheap. Like I got this clicker off of BinkyBunny.com for like a dollar. Like it's super cheap. So you can just go ahead and buy them um, online places. Just look for a type in clicker or you can probably find them at your pet stores um, but it's a super handy thing to have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what a clicker sounds like. So uh, that's pretty much what a clicker sounds like. Some of you may be wondering what the clicker is for. Um, I'm going to be doing another video on how to clicker train your rabbit um, and stuff like that so just watch out for that video. If you do not want to buy a clicker or if you bought one online and it hasn't come in yet and you just want to start training them right away, you can use a pen instead of a clicker. Now it's not as convenient as a clicker as this thing, like it's so easy to hold, but it is something that makes a similar noise. So um, here's a pen and I don't know if you can hear that very well, but it's a quieter noise than the clicker and then this is much louder so you know if you have a rabbit hard of hearing you're probably gonna want to get a clicker um, eventually just because that the pen just isn't that loud and it's just really long and like hard to hold on to one of the next things you would need is a target stick and this isn't necessarily necessary either but it's very very helpful um, way to train your rabbit and I find target stick training super easy and my bunnies catch on to it like immediately. Um, Ebony caught on to it the first lesson she ever had with the target stick which was amazing. Um, so I highly recommend um, making one of these. I don't know if you can even buy these. Um, I know I've heard of, I've seen people have like cat ones um, that they got but honestly even if you could buy one they're so easy to make um, that I would just make one at home. Um, what I did, a lot of people ask me how I make my target stick, and it looks really stupid to be honest. Um, and there's nothing much to it. It's just a willow stick um, from a toy that they had, and then a broken ping pong ball, just like the broken part shoved onto the stick and then duct taped around. And it's kind of wobbly, so it's not the greatest. Um, I do really want to make one like Stormy Rabbits has. Um, she's another YouTuber, so you should, I'll have her link in the description box uh, below, so you guys should check her out because she also does agility um, training and tricks and stuff with her rabbits, so um, I really want to make one um, like hers with like a wooden dowel and everything that looks much nicer, um, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet and this works just as well. And if you want to start training a rabbit and you don't have a target stick and you haven't made one yet, you can use your finger. Um, the one thing, I just think a target stick is better just because it's so big and so bright. Um, also what I do to when I first start training is I rub uh, raisin juice on it so that they smell it and will follow the target stick and it's kind of weird to have like, it would be really messy to have like juice on your finger and really annoying. So. Honestly, it, the clicker and the target stick are like the main two things that I would really try to get um, because they're really um, 
really, really helpful when training your rabbit. So the next thing I have is an agility item. I got this tunnel from Dollarama in Canada. I think it was like $3 or something. So it was super cheap. If you live in Canada, definitely pick one of these up because it's well worth your money. Um, I have four of them and they're just amazing. I know like every rabbit owner in Canada has one of these. Um, so I was very lucky I got to go to Canada and buy one of these or a couple of these. And I use these these tunnels for agility training with my rabbits. You can connect them together, make them longer, and um, yeah, this is a really great tool to have if you want to do agility with your rabbit. So if you live in America or any other country, you can just buy a cat tunnel. Um, they're about the same length. They sell them as crinkle tunnels and many other names. They just look like this. Normally they fold up and you can buy them for about, I think I see them for about $8 at the cheapest, sometimes they're $15. So they can be expensive, which is why I like the Dollarama ones. But if you don't want to spend that money right away, you can go ahead and make your own tunnel. There's tons of ways to make your own tunnel. I mean, you can make one out of cardboard by like taping a TP formation. Um, you could use a tunnel from like a skinny cardboard box. You can make it out of NIC grids if you have NIC grids. There's like tons of different tunnels you could make, so just be creative. So you don't actually have to buy one of these right away if you don't want to. So the next item I have for agility are these jumps. Now these jumps I made with just some wood and some PVC pipes. I know a lot of people don't have power tools and the capability to like make all this. Um, I made most of it myself, but my dad helps me make uh, parts of it. So if you don't, if you can't make jumps like this, I know Stormy Rabbits. I think her brother or something has them on Etsy for sale. Uh, so I'll go ahead and link. I'll try to link that into the description below too if I can find it. And so. You can buy them, I think she sells them for like $40 or something. Um, they are a lot of work. I mean, one, two, I have two sets of jumps and that took me all day to make them. Uh, so it's a lot of work I put into these and I know hers looks fancier. Uh, so I love jumps. My rabbits love uh, jumping over the jumps and it is just super fun. So I highly recommend eventually making or getting some jumps if you want to get like really into agility. But there are other ways that you can make jumps uh, if you don't want to spend the money or if you can't make wooden ones right away. So the first type of jump I made is out of cereal boxes and paper towel tubes or toilet paper tubes. Um, but yeah, that's one type of jump I've made. Uh, I've seen another one on Pinterest where like you cut a uh, paper towel roll in half or just use toilet paper rolls and then you put willow sticks. So you just have like willow sticks poking through and then another toilet paper roll so that could be a jump. I tried that one but honestly it was too small for my rabbits so they just like knocked them all over. So that didn't really work. Um, and then another type of jump that you could have is if you have a piece of wood laying around, like a two by four. So it's about like this tall and like this wide. You can just set that on the floor and have your rabbit jump over that. It's just a short jump, but it's a great start. And I also had like bigger boards that I had Lulu jump over. Um, so there's like tons of ways to make jumps for your rabbits. Uh, so if you can't make these right away or you can't buy them right away, um, you can just make some for just temporary. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. I will be having videos in the future about like how to clicker train your rabbit uh, with the target stick and stuff and then maybe I'll have some on agility um, because I know a lot of people have been asking for it and it's just a, such a fun thing to do with your rabbits that I just think everyone should do it because I love it so much. The rabbits love it. It's a great thing for exercise and I honestly think every rabbit 
um, loves to do this, so I would highly recommend trying it with your rabbit uh, if you have the time and the want to do it. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon on a new video.